side a little bit too on the ashy side and it just does not look good to complement your skin so whenever I have that issue I will always tint my lace first you go ahead and you bleach your knots after you bleach your knots you use the fabric dye which I'll show in the video and you just tint the lace really quickly I let it sit on there for about 45 minutes um, you can let it sit on for about 20 minutes and that should do the trick but of course the longer the better and as you can see, that is as good as it gets. Like there's no way to get this frontal to be closer to scalp-like for my skin complexion. So this is a perfect way to kind of customize your um, frontal for your needs. Because sometimes when you use the tea bag method or some of the other methods, it's just one color that it goes. But if you just want to specifically make the color to match exactly to your skin I feel like this is the best method um, so you see it in the video but this is pretty much all I use I picked up both of these fabric dyes from um, Amazon ordered them one day they were here literally the next day with Amazon Prime but they're by the brand RIT you can find them anywhere that you find fabric usually like Joann's or Michael's or any kind of arts and crafts stores like this very simple very easy but it makes a huge difference especially if you are someone who like me, will buy or receive um, a lace frontal and you like the way it looks, but it doesn't look like this, like perfect skin. So, um, so we're going to roll to the tutorial and then I'll be back with the rest of my thoughts on this hair. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to tint the lace on your lace frontals. Now this method applies to lace frontals of any size, shape, length, lace closures, 360 lace frontals. Anything with lace, even your silk base closures, this will apply for. Um, what you're going to need is obviously your closure. Um, I've got a bowl here and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to take a large bowl and I'm going to put about two cups of boiling hot water. Probably can see that steam. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of sea salt. I don't own any regular salt, but I've heard that this step actually cancels out some of that red and orange that sometimes you see in your lace. So we're going to give that a try for the first time and I'll let you know how that goes. Also, I'm going to be using fabric dye. There are a few ways to tint your lace. Um, this one is very common. You could pick this up at any fabric store. Um, I have it linked down below where you can find it online and receive it uh, two days with Amazon Prime. So the first one is, or they're both by the brand Ritz, and they're basically liquid fabric dye. Um, the main one I want to use is this one here, and this is the tan. Tan is going to be um, basically your base and what you use to get um, a nice brown color. So I'm going to do two capfuls of this. Now obviously 
tan is not my skin color so I'm gonna go have to go darker which is why I picked up this one as well it's from the same brand RIT and it is also liquid fabric dye and it got it in the color cocoa brown um, this obviously is also too dark for my skin so I think I'm gonna need about half a cup of this to kind of make my perfect um, mix but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a paper towel so I'm just gonna take that same teaspoon and mix that up a little bit and then I'm gonna take a paper towel I'm just gonna fold it up and I just kind of want to see um, what color is gonna come up now actually I don't need to go much darker than that actually this is my color I think if I go darker than this, it'll be too dark. What do you guys think? Um, I'm going to just add a little bit of this one because I bought it. I'm going to do like half a cup. When I say cup, I mean like a cap full. And if it's way too dark, you can just add more of your lighter dye. You can even add more water to thin it out. So if it's too dark, I'll be able to fix that. Okay, yeah, that's way too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more water and thin that out. So this was a fail. I'm going to reboil some water and start over because this is way too dark and I don't want to just keep adding and wasting the dye. We've got two cups of hot water, teaspoon of salt. And this time I'm not going to use the cocoa brown fabric dye because it is too dark for me. Surprisingly, I'm just going to use two capfuls of the tan. I'm going to mix that up. So that's probably as good as it's going to get as far as my skin tone goes. So again, this is the lace frontal we're going to be using. Um, I've already bleached the knots. If you have not bleached your knots, that is the first step. If you need help with that, I have a tutorial on how to do that. It is linked down below and it's almost at 200,000 views. So make sure you guys check that out. But now that my dye mixture is ready, I'm just going to submerge the lace into the bowl so I'm going to allow this to sit for about 45 minutes and then we'll be back and this is what the lace looks like because I only use the tan color it's not that huge of a difference but there's definitely a difference if you can see, it matches my skin perfectly. So yeah, this is just an extra step. You don't have to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and let this air dry overnight and then I'll be back tomorrow with a full constructed wig and my thoughts on this hair. So really quickly, I thought it would be rude to show you guys how to tint the lace and not really show you in detail what the lace looks like when you're done. Like I showed you but I didn't like show you show you. So when I take my little twisties out. This is pretty much what you get. Like no matter where you part, forgive me, I don't have a comb. So this is pretty much what you get all through out. Trust me, it makes a huge difference when wanting to blend it with your scalp. So hopefully that'll help you understand 
how bomb it is when you do tint your lace. You don't have to always do it. Like I said, it's just when you get the lace that is a little bit too light. In this case, with this company, it wasn't necessarily that the lace was too light. I just wanted to show you guys the process. And I hope that this helps some of you out. So I'm going to show you what the hair looks like from the back. blah 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 if I wanted it to be thinner I would not have used four bundles in the front so I would have used less I like it this big so I'm gonna wear it this big but this is really what the hair looks like in its natural state um, I've used water on it but I have not used any oil sheens I have not used any conditioners any leave-ins any anything else in it um, and I'm pretty happy with it but again this is how the frontal came out I have not um, tweezed the hairline any. I just kind of made some faux baby hair um, to make it work, but I didn't pluck the hairline or anything like that. This is just naturally how the frontal comes. And I absolutely love the definition on this deep wave hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash review. All of the information is listed down below where you can find the hair dye and all the products that I use and of course all of the details on this hair and where you can find it. Of course Ali Moda is on AliExpress but I have it all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, and subscribe. What's going on here?